Well, a hearing is scheduled Monday in Monroe County over the state's new abortion law. Just when it went into effect yesterday, it's a near total ban on the procedure. The law bans abortion at all stages of pregnancy, with few exceptions, which include cases of rape and incest up until 10 weeks' time, threats to the mother's health, and lethal fetal anomaly, a birth defect diagnosis with low survival rates. Two lawsuits have already been filed challenging the new law. Monday, a judge will hear arguments on a lawsuit dealing with right to privacy. A judge could decide whether to put that law on hold temporarily as the case gets decided. As those lawsuits play out, some Hoosiers are renewing their calls on lawmakers to take a closer look at adoptions and the foster care system. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow spoke with advocates who say much more funding is needed. Kristen? Well, Dan and Baruchel, it's not clear yet what the impact of the abortion law will have on the number of adoptions in Indiana or the number of kids who enter the foster system. While lawmakers did approve some more funding for social services last session, many people I spoke with feel more is needed to help children and their families. The placements that we've had have ranged from six months to three years. Samantha Bonte and her husband have taken in 14 foster children over the past four years for both short and long-term care. She has seen firsthand some of the challenges facing Indiana's foster care system. One of our biggest struggles in the last year was we changed caseworkers three times. Bonte says that turnover means less support for foster families. Others say families of both foster and adopted children also need more financial support. Shannon Schumacher runs the Villages of Indiana, which provides foster care and adoption services. She points out a private adoption costs around $40,000. We know that if there are a thousand new babies, which is very, very likely, that are going to need child care, that's $18 million right there. During the special session, the Indiana legislature approved $75 million in new funding for social services. It also more than doubled the adoption tax credit. And Republicans pledged to do more when they return to the state house in January. That includes State Senator Linda Rogers, who wants to find ways to lower the costs of adoptions and speed up the process. It takes too long for someone to adopt. And secondly, the cost is so high. Democrats also looking to increase funding for social services. I'm thinking in terms of our, the kinship care, because that program is, it needs, the funding needs to be increased. Now, there have been other efforts at the State House to work toward improving Indiana's foster care system. One bill that's likely to be reintroduced next year would appoint all children in Indiana's foster system an attorney to help get them into permanent homes more quickly. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. Coming up on Sunday's edition of In Focus, we're talking about Indiana's new abortion law. Kristen's sitting down with Attorney General Todd Rokita to talk about his plans to enforce the new law. And we're talking with our panelists about the new national proposals to ban abortion nationwide. In Focus airs Sunday mornings, 930 right here on Fox 59.